the finished product of the iPhone is uh, assembled in China. And now we've just learned about that troubling report that just came out by the Fair Labor Association on conditions in Foxconn plants in China. The group's president and CEO, Ored Van Heerden, joins me now live from New York. Ored, uh, nice to see you again. The last time we spoke, you were here in Hong Kong and you were on your way to Shenzhen to visit uh, one of the Foxconn plants in Shenzhen. Uh, what were some of the flagrant violations that you found that surprised you the most? I would say that the key issue is the hours of work. And we found that Foxconn had worked beyond code limits of 60 hours per week and beyond Chinese legal limits of 49 hours a week during peak periods. And as a result of this survey and this audit that you did, Foxconn has made several promises, for example, regarding the longer working hours. They're saying that they are going to uh, reduce overtime hours, hire more people, have better worker representation. How can your organization, the Fair Labor Association, actually follow up with them and also enforce these promises and make sure that Foxconn follows through with them? So those are major commitments. They really are precedent-setting commitments. And I don't know of any other company which has done that publicly. But we have broken that down into action items, and each action item has a deliverable. There's a person responsible for that. There's a timeline and a deadline. And we will continue to follow the implementation of those action items through on-site visits. And we'll update the public in periodic reports so that the external stakeholders and consumers can be sure that this is all happening. Now, will you actually go back in there and do surprise visits uh, in order to make sure this is happening? We will. Uh, we do have to keep in mind that Foxconn is uh, one of the biggest companies in China, employing 1.2 million workers. So they're certainly in the spotlight. But I'd like to ask you your uh, perception and impression of general working conditions in factories in China. Is Foxconn considered on the good end of the spectrum, in the medium or the bad end? And, and how, does it, how does it compare to the, the rest of the manufacturing industry? We do a lot of work in China. We assess a lot of factories in China. And Foxconn, by its very nature, is obviously at the top end of that scale. It's a high-tech company the production process itself and the type of product that they produce demands a very sophisticated manufacturing setup. There are clean rooms, there are very, very um, precise manufacturing activities that are taking place. So it, it, and it's capital intensive. Uh, the barriers to entry to this kind of production are much higher than for garment manufacturing, for example. So you have, in general, a more sophisticated setup. But I really believe that with the commitments that Foxconn has made in response to our findings, that they're really going to become a driver. Uh, they will set the bar high, and their peers and their competitors will now have to align themselves with those new standards because Foxconn will start to attract workers from other factories. And so other factories will have to match the increased, the improved standards that Foxconn is adopting. And so in this way, we could set off a race to the top. It will be, I think, good for the private sector and for the electronic sector in China because the, uh, the new standards which Apple and Foxconn are, are, are setting will be emulated by other companies.